J.R. Smith here, Vice President, COO, Co-Founder, and Generic Chief Cook and Bottle Washer of the Veterans Ranch. Welcome to another great episode of the Veterans Ranch Show. Thank you to everyone, as always, out there paying attention. Uh, across all social platforms, thank you to the Disability Channel for hosting this for us and allowing us to help get our message out. Uh, for some of y'all that don't know us, you know, we do uh, equine therapy for veterans and their family. We get them out there playing with horses, folks. It's real simple. We're going to start putting a grooming brush in their hand and get them to start working a rhythmic motion. What's that doing? That's helping change your brain a little bit, changing, you know, some thought processes, helping you lay down heavy coats of burden, and really able to start walking off as a new and improved version of yourself. Today's sponsor for this show is Vortex Optics. You see their hat I'm wearing here today. I'm just going to read this because I can never memorize it. Vortex Optics, I can tell you, is a family-owned, veteran-owned business. It's been around since 1986. And they say there's more than just using optics in the field. It's a lifestyle, and they want you to be a part of it. Whether you've dedicated your life to hunting and shooting or simply grabbing your dad's old 270 come deer season or for just some weekend shooting, all it takes is an appreciation for freedom, the outdoors, time spent with friends and family, telling stories, sharing recipes, or defending our public lands and protecting our God-given right to bear arms. If that sounds like you, welcome to the Vortex Nation. If you are looking for some great stuff, they support us and we support the ones that support us. Go to vortexoptics.com and check out their stuff today and tell them JR from the Veterans Ranch sent you. We're going to take a short break and we're going to introduce Brian Gibson, president and founder of Project Die Hard. We'll be right back. <laughs> All about inclusion and really giving everyone a fair say. Welcome to the Today Show. This is our flagship show. I am Unstoppable Tracy. I am Zach Damon. It is a pleasure to be here. I am excited. What is up? We have a great show today. Jay Stoyan here for the Disability Channel the world's only inclusive channel for and by persons with disabilities. Get ready to be inspired, everyone. We have people watching from all over the world, but also all over Ontario. We also take a concerted attention in the veterans community. In moments of stress and trauma, we can get a hold of ourselves. To help make a difference for people with disabilities to show people how to love themselves or their disability. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys having me, giving this platform for myself and other people with disabilities. Thank you so much, folks, for joining us for this episode of the Disability Channel of Detroit. Please tune in next time. Welcome back, everyone. As we said, we have a very special guest today, a great dear friend, Brian Gibson in Paducah, Kentucky, with Project Die Hard. Uh, been around, Brian, since what, 2018? Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, Brian's a, a proud veteran, 26 year Army combat medic. Uh, been there, done that, bought a few of the t shirts, folks. Uh, when you see him, Thank him for his service, but definitely help him out with the projects that we're going to be talking about here today and help uh, help Project IR really further their mission. One of the things we want to talk about today, Brian and I share a lot of uh, similarities in terms of our missions, in terms of helping veterans uh, end this veteran suicide problem pandemic, truly, that we are dealing with today. This week, it has been a month now that Fox News put an article out online and we praise Fox for putting it out, uh, but we keep begging everybody every time we talk about this, let's put it on the news. We understand the midterms and all this other stuff and these aren't political shows, 
but folks, this is things that really need to be discussed. You can, there's plenty of, you know, 23 hours and some change in the day to talk about the midterms. We need to talk about this issue. So what was the issue? The article discussed how they did a study between two universities, University of Alabama and Duke. So spread out across the country, another nonprofit and across eight different states, okay? the states that they claim had the best reporting on this particular issue. And the sad thing of what they found out, ladies and gentlemen, is that we are at 44 a day, okay? When we first started the Veterans Ranch in 2017, we were hearing 17 a day, 19 a day, then we heard 22. Well, come to find out through another good uh, friend of ours in Texas that uh, has a, a veteran magazine, uh, she found out that the 2021 numbers, they were using 2019 data to do it. So I don't want to say they were cooking the books, but they were not putting out correct data. So what we have found out, folks, is just across the eight states that they measured, we are at 44 veteran suicides a day. 16,000 fantastic Americans that do not need to be checking out off this planet that are. Now that's across eight states. Imagine the other 42 piling on in that with their accurate records, where would we be? And you know, my, me and Brian have a simple question. When's enough enough? How many, how hard are gonna be before people start paying attention to what's going on? So Brian, welcome to the show. And uh, I wanna turn it over to you and get, get your thoughts on what you read in that article as well. Well, again, brother, uh, that, that stat from those eight states, right at 44 yeah the other the if we did the whole if we dug if they dug deep like that in every state what number would we be at right one veteran that dies by suicide a day is too many okay uh i gotta do thank you brother for working with us the veterans ranch really great people right jr his team you know they're going to be doing big things on our on our facilities so yeah uh jay here the disability channel thank you guys for having me on man i can't say that enough for those who don't know me and if you don't you're missing something my name is brian gibson i am the founder and president of project die hard we are a faith-based, scripture-led veteran nonprofit with the mission to bring hope to veterans. How do we do that? By providing them with a safe, secure place with counseling, therapy, skill training, and much, much more that they can come to and get the help they need, or betterly, betterly said, they deserve. We are currently working on 20 acres and a 10,000 square foot building that was donated to our mission. When completed, it will house 12 single veterans and two veterans with their families for up to a year at no cost. We work with JR and the Veterans Ranch because no one organization can do it. They're bringing their equine therapy programs to our facilities. We believe teamwork makes the dream work and that together everyone accomplishes more. So if you have an organization that would like to talk about bringing your programs to our facility, Reach out to JR, reach out. Uh, we can sit there, we can talk about it. Well, that's really the key. And, and you know, just thank you so much for what you do. Um, you know, we are going to partner up, folks, and that's the key. You know, right now, they're north. The most recent number I've heard, and I still think this is low, 53,000 nonprofits that say they deal with veterans. Uh, it sounds like a great number. The problem is for a lot of various reasons, um, a lot of things don't happen with those nonprofits. They just get filed and nothing happens. Uh, one, it dilutes the donating pool because uh, no one really knows who to give to at that point. 
Brian and I, you know, the, the great thing about Brian and I are a lot of things, but, you know, Brian grew up on a horse ranch, but Brian wore combat boots. I wear cowboy boots. And so the two of us together, and we bring a unique perspective together uh, that we can help veterans with. We're, we're super excited to have that forestall barn on the property at Fob Rush and uh, be able to bring equine therapy services. Um, you know, again, folks, if we save one, okay, between the two of us, right, if we save one, that's one less of the 44 a day that is going to be a statistic. Um, you know, we've got a major mental health crisis in the country as a whole. I mean, one in four children since COVID have admitted suicidal thoughts. It, when I say pandemic, it's a real pandemic. It's things that have um, we've never seen before. I mean, probably not since Vietnam have we seen these kind of statistics that are now trackable that they've just never tracked before. Um, you know, so Brian, why don't you uh, share a little bit more about what you've got going on, how, uh, you know, we know why uh, Fabrush got started, but give us a little bit of the meaning behind the name. Uh, I'll, be, I'll dive into the name and everything after we take this short little break, because uh, Hey, we got Vector Optics and other people that sponsor this show to help get our message out. So we got to give them things. Let's get her done. So again, folks, Vortex Optics, great company, family, veteran owned, vortexoptics.com. Check them out from scopes, range finders, you name it, they've got it. Great prices, awesome warranties, uh, lifetime warranties on their products. Again, vortexoptics.com. Check them out today. Let's let's dive back into what the the meaning behind the name for Fob Rush is. Well, Fob Rush is named in honor of Sergeant Courtney Rush of the United States Air Force. She was a crew chief that on an aircraft that did angel flights. She brought home our dead. Okay. This was her. That was her demon. She lost her fight to the demon January 3rd, 2012. She is from Aurora, Illinois. And this is how we're naming all of our facilities from a veteran that has lost their fight to the demon. Part of our mandate is to make sure that they're never forgotten. So that's why we name our facilities. We also now, you know, our plan is to put one in every state. Our next state, we are sad to announce, will be Pennsylvania. Uh, it'll be Forward Operating Base Quinn, named after Sergeant Amy Quinn of the United States Army. This one kind of hits home. 
She was actually one of my soldiers. She survived Afghanistan, Iraq. Came back. And lost the fight to the demons. Uh, I miss her. And she was just like a daughter to me. So yes, people, please. Pray, volunteer, donate. ProjectDieHard.org. Your $22 a month helps us build these facilities that will provide the hope to the veterans. Your $22 a month helps us bring the Veterans Ranch to our facilities. Again, we say, you support one of us, you support all of us that work together. If you want to buy a saddle, get with JR. He knows the people to say, hey, buy this saddle, send it to us. He knows those people. <laughs> yep. Again, go ahead. It, it, it's such an important thing you bring up to Brian, you know, we all know folks that nonprofits, businesses as a whole, right? For everybody that doesn't understand, nonprofits doesn't mean you gotta be po walking around. A lot of us are, <laughs> but you know, you don't gotta be walking around po and tattered clothes and whatever, because you have a profit. The C in 501c3 stands for corporation, folks. These are businesses. You have to run them like a business. There are things that need to be paid for. So yeah, of course, cash is king. But I'll tell you this, you know, Brian's making a lot of great improvements on Fob Brush uh, right there in McCanda, Illinois. But, you know, I tell you this, you know, you can volunteer stuff. You can volunteer time. You know, Brian's in there installing three compartment sinks and doing the plumbing and installing things on the wall that's, you know, meant to meet code and everything else for safety and cleanliness. Maybe y'all could donate some time to Brian. If you follow him on social media, uh, if you don't do, you know, Project Die Hard 22 on Facebook and Instagram, I think, correct? Same way on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, volunteer some time. Trust me, br bring some work gloves, maybe some tools. Brian will put you to work. You know, there is something to do. Businesses out there right now, okay? Um, I understand not everybody's business runs calendar year. You know, some people are right now getting into the middle of their fiscal year. Um, don't let that matter. Okay. Make a monthly donation. If your business, make a one-time donation, get it done and over with. So you don't got to budget it every month, but maybe donate some toilets, donate some handicap sinks, you know, don't, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, anybody out there, your local Ace Hardware folks, we're talking to you. If you can, reach out to Brian at projectdiehard.org and you know and you can contact at projectdiehard.org email and donate some stuff to him. You know the money's going to go to the right place. You're going to get an in-kind donation tax write-off for your business. But the bottom line is you're helping save lives. You wouldn't think a sink would help save lives, but folks, a handicapped sink gets Brian that one step closer to getting this more operational and help getting more veterans in and save lives. That's what this is all about. So yes, cash is king, cash pays bills, but that cash is gonna buy sinks and toilets and everything else too. So if you can donate that stuff, please do reach out to him and, and make, that, make that a reality for them. Um, you know, yeah, sure. We wanna get there like it was yesterday, but we can't get there until this other stuff's done. So help him get this stuff done and do some good stuff in your community. So anybody watching this, if you are anywhere in the, you know, Southwest Kentucky, Southern Illinois, Southern uh, Southeast Missouri, Northeast Arkansas, if you're anywhere near those areas, reach out to Brian today because you can get stuff to him easy. And okay, we're not asking people from Chicago or St. Louis that are hours and hours away. If you can, great, do that. But if you are anywhere near Paducah, Kentucky, or McCanda, Illinois, reach out to Brian and say, hey, we want to help. What do you need? We're willing to provide it. Right, Brian? Again, again, brother, yeah. If you're in the neighborhood, contact us. 
There's always things we're working on on a day-to-day -day process. Uh, but we have started a volunteer day, the second Tuesday of every month. So, yeah, if you're up in Chicago, over in St. Louis, and you and a bunch of your friends say, hey, I know how to swing a hammer. Hey, I know how to do plumbing. Hey, come on down and spend the day with us. Trust me, yeah, there's a lot of work to be done. We're fighting right now to get to code so we can start a veteran fellowship breakfast and a peer-to-peer -peer support group while we're working on the big picture of the property. Uh, those are just small things that we can bring back. We're taking this one step at a time, right? Uh, let's let's do one more quick break and we'll, we'll tie back into that. Um, Next, folks, we want to talk about today that, that we love to death. And again, you'll notice a pattern here, folks. We, we love dealing with family-owned, veteran-owned businesses. Uh, these folks are up in Keokuk, Iowa. Not sure where that is. Google it. But uh, Decker Manufacturing, okay? You can go to DeckerMFG.com. And uh, here's just a quick thing on them. They're known as the premier supplier of the best American-made agricultural and equine products available. So if you're looking for quality, innovation, and service, choose the Decker brand. And all of their fasteners are made right here in the USA. Folks, that's getting to be a harder and harder thing to claim. Uh, and God bless the ones that are willing to do it, because I guarantee it's costing them more, but it makes more sense, obviously, to make it right here in America. So. Decker Manufacturing, DeckerMFG.com. Check them out. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Dave Stevens with the Disability Channel. An inability to break out. I'm sitting by the door on the second floor. Losing my seven-year war. Not an illusion, so why the exclusion? Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. It's about you. So. Yeah. Joining me and uh, welcome to this beautiful Travelers Championship. I only want one accolade from you. So my story is unique. It's amazing. But it's not anything that you guys don't have inside of you. I'm not a hero. I'm not anybody special. I'm just this guy without legs that went out and I just did it. Stats are way the Democrats. The diplomats and the bureaucrats. This is probably your first interview down on the ground on your butt and stuff like first that. First time ever, baby. All right. And validate. And validate. Stay with us and the Disability Channel. All right, so let's let's wrap this up. You know, people, uh, you know, they need to give. They need to give time. They need to give talents. They need to give money. Right. I mean, that's bottom line and pick the order folks that you want to give it to, you know, if it's, however, it's on your heart. Like Brian said, if it's swinging a hammer, writing a check or both, you know, some of the best are the one, right. Some of the ones are the best that hand you the check and then say, where can I help, right? you know, and, and really, really get to work. Um, let, let's cover one more time before we completely wrap it up here for the day. Let's let's talk about um, the breakfast that you're having and, and the requirements you have to get things up to code so you can do that. Okay. Uh, the first thing, the first program we're bringing to Fabrush is a veteran fellowship breakfast. This fellowship breakfast is going to be open up to everyone, right? But veterans will eat for free. That's, you know. Come spend the day, come spend a breakfast with some veterans, talk, learn about them, let them, you know, as we all say, you can be that one voice that, that veteran needs to hear. So come on, right? But before we can do that, you know, there's certain codes 
that we have to bring this building up to. This building, we are so grateful for the donation, but it sat vacant for 10 years. So the bathrooms need totally rework. The kitchen, we're about 98% done with. We got a few more things we got to do in there, but this is where that donation goes. It goes to build these facilities. It doesn't go into my wallet, doesn't go into my board's wallet. Our goal is 90 cents on every dollar to touch a veteran's life. That's going to be quite easy because these facilities cost money. If people want to come see our properties, I've always said, you give us $22 a month or $22,000, every patron has the same right. You get to come and see where your money goes. But my caveat is bring work gloves and muck boots because there's always work to be done. I will be right there with you because that's the way I believe. Uh, you volunteer. I'm no better than anybody else. I'll be right out there raking leaves, mucking up the the stream, swinging a hammer, doing what I physically can do because I am a disabled veteran. I have 10 pounds of titanium holding my spine together. So my wife has this really nasty habit of reminding me of that when I'm on the property. It's true, folks. You know, we did an event back in January uh, down in Lake Wales, Florida. And, you know, Brian and his great wife drove all the way down from Paducah, Kentucky to be a part of our event. So when Brian says he's committed and he won't ask you to do something he hasn't done 10,000 times himself, I can tell you for a simple fact, it's a God's honest truth. So, you know, it, it's great having you on here today, Brian. Folks, everybody, um, I'm going to ask for I'm going to ask for a big ask today. But, you know, the, the ask is this. Both of us our organizations, you know, need to keep this going. So if you're watching this and you like the content and you want to see it keep going again, these things are part of what costs money, folks. Um, these are not free. You know, electricity costs money and, and streaming services cost money. Um, go to the veteransranch.org, you know, a buck, three, six, nine, 22, whatever. It helps keep this mission going to bring not only our message of equine therapy to you, but great guests like Brian and their mission with Project Die Hard to let you know what's going on out there. Um, but seriously, go to projectdiehard.org. Give with your hearts, give a buck for veterans, give that 22 a month. Folks, for less than what you and your family could go to a fast food joint, a restaurant of any kind, um, and eat, you know, you're going to help save veterans' lives. Literally pennies a day. It's like 73 cents a day. And I know we see that all the time on the nightly TV commercials. They call it reduced to the ridiculous, break it down. But that's, that's what we got to do with this, folks, because... We lost 44 yesterday. We lost 44 the day before. And gosh darn it, if we don't do something about this today, gets me emotional. Sorry. We're going to lose 44 today. What's it going to take, folks? I'll end with what we started with. What's it going to take? How big's the number got to be before this becomes water cooler talk? Before it becomes talk on the news? But who cares if it's on the news? Share this message amongst your network, your family, your friends. I guarantee you, I had a grown man in tears yesterday telling him about the number because this is a powerful thing to discuss. And it's not discussed on mainstream media, and it should. So go to projectdiehard.org, support Brian, go to theveteransranch.org and support us, help us keep bringing this message out and doing what we're doing. And together, folks, we are going to save millions of veterans' lives. And we will get there. So again, Brian, thank you for coming on the show today. Everybody out there, we love y'all. God bless. Take care. Giddy up.